Hey, how's it going all you lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with a brand new episode of All of the Mods 9. Today is episode 30 and I have figured out something. Uh, apparently Withers drop spawn eggs. Um, yeah, I don't, I genuinely have no idea. I, I spent 20 minutes trying to get it to happen on camera and it never did. Uh, I did get two of them just so we could, you know, show you what they look like here because they aren't actually in JEI. We actually type in spawn um they aren't over here i'm not 100 percent sure why maybe it's because they weren't disabled um but uh you know i'm gonna cheese it while i can so i went ahead and i made a wither spawner and this does work i don't want to turn it on because i'll have to kill them and it takes too long but uh this does work this is a pretty you know maxed out spawner uh they have no ai so you can just kill them and so with that cheesiness i did spend some time and I got 333 uh, nether stars. <laughs> That's a lot of nether stars. I'm never going to need any more. But with the side effect of that, though, um, you'll see oop, that I have several diamond chests on the right of my my ME system. Well, that is because coral tombstones. Uh, yeah, these are overly, just like full of different things. Poppets uh scrolls and receptacles and so yeah i've just kind of thrown them in there and i cleared this one out so we could just have uh normal things in there but uh yeah that was interesting i spent a few minutes getting some nether stars from that so hopefully we'll be able to upgrade uh our actual what do you call it our botany pots out here soon um which is a good thing right so all right, what do we want to get into today? Well, I quickly want to just take a peek at this real fast. So you can see that we are basically full on almost everything. Even the wheat is catching up. Actually, I think the wheat's full now. Um, it looks like the only thing that isn't full is the mushrooms. Of course, they are going to be the least produced thing. Uh, also, the chicken seeds have become full, which is fantastic. If we pop down here, we can see that we're at 4,000 beef wellington actually 20 minutes ago it was 2000 so we are doing pretty darn decent there uh the power system has regulated itself everything is good there we are good on eggs we are good on flour of course because we're getting the backlog of wheat and that is fantastic okay so just a you know brief synopsis of what has been happening around the base and just kind of making sure everything is still golden so uh what i want to look at real quick is a mod called hyperbox hyperbox from what I understand, is actually similar to um, the Compact Machines. Sorry, I had to kind of cut there because I couldn't fully remember the name of the mod. But uh, we'll grab this here. Oh, whoa. I don't know what in the world that's about, but okay. Uh, we're going to just kind of place this outside for a second. So, uh, we're just going to set this right here. And this also does say it's dyeable. So, if we actually grab a red dye here, I'm just curious. Because I've never messed with this mod. I genuinely have no idea. Okay, so you can get, like, a red one. Uh, dimension ID. Uh, test. Save and enter. Oh, okay. Whoa. What is happening? Okay. Uh yeah, so I mean we're in a hyperbox. Um I'm kind of curious why there is side specific stuff. So, let's experiment with this a little bit, right? This is going to be interesting. So, yeah, let's grab a chest. I I don't know if this has anything to do with the sides, right? So, let's check. Let's see what kind of functionality this may have. Okay, so you can't put pipes on these sides that they will not connect. Okay, let's go inside. No, no connection. Um, okay, that's kind of strange. Kind of strange indeed. Let me take a little peek at the, the mod page here for this, because I, I want to make sure we get everything and know everything. And I like how it's actually up here um, telling me that it is actually a test. So if we pick this up and I move this. Okay, so it has actually been renamed like it's been in an anvil. Okay. 
And if I like click on different sides, does it teleport me around? So we spawned, actually, yes. So we spawned on the green side. So if I go click on this side, which is the gray circle, we should spawn near the gray circle. Okay, that's kind of interesting. But yeah, let me look at the mod page real quick. Okay, so it appears that the reason I could not do pipes is because actually hoppers, hoppers are what they're telling you to use. So it's kind of not as friendly with that, which is okay. So let's grab a couple hoppers here. Uh, so I want to test. So I'm thinking if I put a, a barrel, uh, can I this open? It can. So if I do, well, I'm kind of curious. What if I do that? And I put this here and I put two dirt. Will that transport to the chest? Oh, it will. Okay. Nifty. So it's just not as compatible as, you know, most of compa the uh, compact machines, which is okay. I know I've had issues with compact machines as well. I mean, this is a whole dimension, right? That's the other thing. So what we could do is actually clean up a lot of different stuff. So like this, we could throw it in a hyper box, right? Uh, and this is another dimension. So that is something to keep in mind. It will act as a different dimension. So if we wanted to, you know, like this whole um, system we have down here with processors, right? We could throw this into a hyper box and it would be uh, in its own dimension and also could be funneled directly into a drawer system here in the overworld. Definitely something to look at, but I just wanted to bring your guys' attention to this. Uh, we will definitely be using these hyper boxes um, in the future if the mod still is in here, of course, because, of course, remember, beta should be coming this weekend. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the day, but they did say the weekend, so, you know, hopefully, right? Hopefully, hopefully. And uh, that'll be fantastic. Okay. So that's just a look at that one real fast. Um, what other kind of mods do we have in here? Genuinely, there is so many mods in here that it is kind of difficult to kind of just say, hey, let's look at this, right? Uh, and I hope you guys uh, know that. Like, it's kind of hard sometimes to just say, hey, let's do this in an episode. So uh, let's just take a peek here, right? So we do have silent gear that we still haven't really looked at. Um... I still have apotheosis enchanting stuff that we could look at. Security craft. I'm not really on a server, so I'm not really concerned about security craft. That would be really cool on a server, I would say. Definitely not in the overworld. There's a reinforced hopper. Uh, looks like maybe that's like uh, either blast proof or it is like play un uh, unbreakable to other players. That might be a thing. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's look at another mod here. This is always one that I keep seeing. Um, it's called Jumbo Furnaces. And, uh, you know, I just kind of want to take a peek at some of the small mods here. And this one actually is quite small because it only adds one multi-block. And it is consisting of several furnaces. So let's quickly craft this here. There we go. That's a jumbo furnace. I kind of just am curious how this works. So let's grab some sand. Not s s some, s uh, yeah, whatever in the world I just typed there. Uh, and we'll also grab some coal. Charcoal will work. How does this go? How does this work? So I would assume it's quite slow, but I want to see how many it outputs per. Only one. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I was kind of expecting it to do nine. Huh. Interesting. I'm kind of wondering what this slot is. Let's see. Okay, so I'm curious. This says if we put 27 furnaces inside of the jumbo furnace, it should do something. So let's grab 27 of these. And I may be reading this wrong, but we'll see. So 27 furnaces. Let's take all of this out. And we throw this in here. Okay, it's doing something. Let's see what it does. 
should give us a small jumbo furnace. So they say if we put this here, this should do something. I'm just curious if it does anything really impressive. So it does two. Uh, is this stackable? I know it says above items can be placed in the upgrade slot of a jumbo furnace to increase the number of recipes it can smell per cooking cycle. Bigger on the inside. Create a jumbo furnace, possibly by smelting 27. The full stack of jumbo furnaces. So how, how many furnaces would you need to make a jumbo furnace? Let's look. So 27 furnaces times 64. You would need 1,728 furnaces to actually do this. Um, how many stacks is that? 27 stacks, right? See if we can do it. There we go. There's enough for those. So we needed how many? 1,728. So we basically just grab all of them back out of here. Okay, clear this out of sand. I'm just curious how how much would this increase it? That's kind of what I'm wondering. If it does increase it quite a bit, that'd be fantastic. But uh, if it doesn't, that'd be... I would assume it's probably going to go up by one every time. Um, which would be fine, right? Like, I, I don't think that'd be terrible. Uh, because this is like... This is something you would get early game, right? Um, we already have, you know, the most overpowered kind of like furnace system. We don't have the best furnace, but we do have it set up to have the uh, augment factory in here. That's how you unlock the ability to do this. And of course, when you throw stuff in here, it's all split. Uh, and then, of course, you know, this requires like the power. Um, yeah, uses power for fuel instead of heat. Which is fine. This is like Mechanism's uh, Energized Smelter, I believe is what it's called. So it's pretty nifty nevertheless. But uh, yeah, let me be right back whenever this is actually done cooking. And uh, we'll see how insane this actually ends up being. I mean, already, if we just watch this go, look how insane this is already. There you go. There's, there was what? Let's pull this out. That was definitely not 20, but I'm kind of curious. How many is it now? I only just made two that time. It's because I'm almost out of furnaces. That's why. But uh, we'll see how many this makes. Just four. Okay, so we're full. So let's uh, let's grab some sand. Oh, because I mean I may use this honestly for uh, creating some glass factory. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, you know, using this, this for that, I think that'd be interesting, but see how much fuel this is using. I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, that was a whole stack plus one, but it looks like the fuel consumption is just off the charts for something like this. It may do a stack at a time, but I think it's just kind of a waste of charcoal. Uh, even if we set up a botany pot, I think this would still be quite wasteful, right? So... I think this could really do with, like, uh, using RF or something like that. That would actually be pretty nifty. But uh, for right now, uh, yeah, just how much fuel this is using is definitely not worth it, in my opinion. I know we have unlimited charcoal, right? But I'm just saying that even using this as an early game thing, it's definitely too slow to say I would use it, you know, fully. So just, you know, just looking at it, right? That's... That's all we're, we can do, right? Because I, I, there's mods that I just haven't focused on enough. Uh, Hyperbox being one of them, because we can start moving some of our contraptions to, uh, you know, different locations and stuff. Uh, are these placeable? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I didn't expect that, in all honesty. I was kind of just expecting nothing to happen. I thought it was just an item. But apparently, no, you can actually place these fully down, which is kind of cool. Doo -doo. Okay. Alrighty, so let's take a peek at some other stuff here. 
You know what, since we've already been looking at furnaces, let's take another look at another furnace here. Let's look at uh, Mystical Agricultures. It's been a minute since I've actually looked at Mystical Agricultures um, anything, like with furnaces. Uh, I think Sky Factory is the last time I ever really looked into uh, this mod, so let's give this a quick look here. So Inferium, then of course we want to upgrade this to Prudentium. Grab a Prudentium block here. Also, all the drawers are filled with essence. So, that's going to be fantastic. We should have no problems crafting up any of this stuff. Right as I say that, it looks like we have a problem. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's grab this stuff, because I think there may be a problem with the linking. Yes, you are not linked. That was why. I love how I just said there was no problems, and then immediately a problem. That is great, though. Okay, let's just keep going here. So this converts into that. So we'll want to make sure we grab more of this. All right, let me be right back, this is going to get repetitive. All right, so quickly, we are going to look at the Awakened version of this as well. Um, I think the last version I ever looked at was the Supremium version. So I'm kind of seeing what this one offers, really. Uh, I know we can look at JEI. I know it shows how efficient everything is. But I like to visually see how insane this is rather than just, you know, through uh, JEI. Because, right, you can shift over this. It says cooking speed is 20% faster and the fuel efficiency is 2% better. Uh, which I don't know. Is that 2% or 2,000%? It looks like it may be 20,000%. So I'm not sure. Um, let's grab some charcoal. Let's grab some sand. How much faster is this? Oh, okay. It's, th it's that much faster, ladies and gentlemen. Goodness. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's an, that's a speed. That's for sure. Uh, definitely. I don't even think I have something that could keep up with how fast this thing is, honestly. That's kind of cool. So, the this is 4,000% cooking speed and 800% fuel efficiency. So, this one's 20,000. Um, I mean, honestly, I could see myself using this a premium furnace to, uh, to do a glass thing. I think that would actually be pretty nifty. Just because if we used a couple of these, we would be... You know, there would never be any deficiency of glass. The only thing I can see is that there is no redstone control for something like this. Uh, we would have to put it somewhere else along the line. Uh, which isn't a problem. I'm just saying that that is a potential thing. Uh, we could do it on a pipe or something to prevent sand from going in. Um, the biggest thing is, is figuring out how you'd actually want to make the sand. Uh, let's see. I mean, of course, you have essence. Fire and dirt make sand. Uh, you also have silicon dioxide, which can be made from a few things. Mostly containing sand, probably. Yeah, there's not a high percent chance of being able to do it. Silicone and oxygen. Silicone comes from... Oh, really? A block of silicone? Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what I'd be able to make it out of here. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I mean, we could definitely look at crushing or, uh, let's see, what is, the sag mill can do it as well. Break it down from cobblestone to gravel. I would assume gravel then can be broken down into sand, yes. There's a 70% chance that you'd actually be able to get that. Okay. I mean, that's something in the future. Um, the biggest problem right now is that I'm facing, of course, is that we are going to be potentially wrapping up this world in the next day or so. Right? So I'm not trying to start... Oh, I'm not trying to start anything massive. Which may hinder this episode a little bit, and I do apologize. But I just don't want to start something... And then be like, hey, yeah, remember that thing we were doing? Well, we're not going to finish it. We switched worlds. Um, 
And so, yeah, I just, I don't really want to do anything big. Hence why I'm focusing on a lot of these different smaller mods that are just kind of in here, right? Um, oh, what in the world? A teardrop sword has a chance to cry. What in the world does that mean? I'm sorry. I just got confused by that. Uh, let's see. Man, I love how much rail mods we have in here. High speed rails. Should create a roller coaster. You know how much fun that'd be? But I probably will hold off doing that. That's another thing that I just don't want to do in this world. Uh, let's see. I will be back here in a second. I was looking through JEI. I just stumbled upon this. An ME Infinity Cobblestone Cell. We also do have a Water Cell. Um, that is intriguing. Uh, if I dare say, a little overpowered. I definitely want to take a look at that. But I've been just kind of scrolling through, looking at different things we have in here. Of course, we have a lot of Evil Craft. We have a lot of Greg Tech in here. Some Ender IO stuff. I'm not really seeing too many things... That kind of stand out as... Oh, we have ender tanks in here. I did not remember we had ender tanks in here. Um, they'd probably be useful to use at some point. But yeah, there is so much stuff in here that I'm just kind of scrolling through and seeing what's all in here. Uh, and a lot of this stuff, of course, is just one mod with like no grouping or anything like that, which is kind of, you know, just a lot. But like Ender's Delight. Um, we also do have Deeper Darker. Uh, deeper and darker. I've messed with this mod previously. This armor set is really good. Uh, the biggest thing with it is the Warden Helmet, which is actually giving you the prevention of blindness, which is awesome. It looks like they've actually updated to use the Warden Upgrade here, um, which of course needs a Warden Upgrade, so you actually need to find one. Uh, let's see here. And I'm pretty sure you could probably get a Warden Spawn Egg, in all honesty, if you really wanted to. And that would allow for you to just kind of, you know, go up and and uh, make a no AI thing from them. So, uh, but yeah, I've just kind of been looking at this. There's not a whole lot of stuff that I've, I'm seeing in here that I genuinely want to take a look at. A lot of it is like chiseled, chipped, uh, handcrafted, you know, Greg Tech's insanity of mods, uh, or ores and, you know, nuggets and ingots and all that stuff. So definitely, you know, I was kind of surprised by how many mods are in here, but it's just genuinely, it looks like it's the same ones over and over again here. Cause like, here's Kim lab, Kim labs old heads, a whole bunch of stuff. We still have this one, which I've never looked at the Ca Caponia cataclysm. Uh, we did find that one creature and I never looked at him. I never did. I don't know what he actually required now. Ooh, ignitium interesting okay anyway uh let's quickly take a peek at this stuff here this infinity cobblestone cell which looks like we'd need to grab uh what is that three three uh i accidentally just grabbed one more it's okay and then use that to make a well, where is it at here 4k the 4k can then make a 16k that 16k can be used to craft up the cobblestone cell here. I just think this is kind of funny. I, just, I wanted to look at it. I've, I haven't really looked at extended AE. I know we looked at it a little bit with the patterns and stuff. Um, but I was just kind of curious here. So let's toss this in here. And how much cobblestone do we have? 2.1 G. Is that G is in golly? That's a lot. <laughs> that's all I could think of. Uh, the the water one definitely is not a bad thing to look at either. Here, uh, let's quickly take a peek at this. I guess I just need nine of these. I actually, I didn't even need nine of them, right? Because I had that one in here, so I could have just made a little bit less, but that's okay. Okay. And then we could toss that in here. And then if we wanted to look at this, we'd actually need a fluid grid, right? Or terminal. What is it called? Add applied terminal. Uh, let's see. Do we not have a fluid terminal? Oh, it's just one terminal. 
is refined storage what I'm thinking of? Yeah, fluid grid. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. But yeah, now we have water. If you don't know, you can actually take uh, water out of here. Right click to store water. Left click to store water bucket. So it looks like you actually cannot put it back in there. So there's a downside to that. Um, that I can see pretty majorly, right? So if we were actually to do this, the best way is not to wink at it. It's to grab a sink <laughs> and grab an import or external storage. Nope. And storage bus. Goodness. I've got to like cycle through all these different mods that are in my head right now. Storage bus. Formation. Annihilation. And a sticky piston here. But yeah, this is probably the best method. The extended AE is cool and all, but this would probably be significantly better. So let's get rid of this stuff real quick. Uh, if you put a sink here, do this, put a cable, and of course you raise the priority. And we got rid of the water cell. Um, we can look up water. You can pull it out, you can push it back in. This is the superior method. This is cool and all, but it does fall short whenever you can't put it back in. Uh, but the cobblestone, I'm assuming, might be the same way. So if we were to actually grab this, this has 973 cobblestone in it. Would we be able to export out of this? It does not appear that we can. Okay. That's another flaw, right? So this may look cool, but is it? Like, that's kind of the thing. Yes, you probably could set up a uh, subnet and pump this cobblestone into a drawer, then into your system, and then that way you always have um, it active. But the problem is, of course, is whenever you have an overflow of cobblestone. You'd have to figure out a way... I mean, inventory checker with an excess on the uh, storage uh, upgrades that are in it. So, for example, uh, currently... Like, yeah, we have 131,000. If we were to do this, because this is full, we would probably store like 64,000, have an excess of 131, like a total of 131. You store 64,000. You have an inventory checker checking that it's 64,000. And anytime you add more, uh, it would have a potential of overflowing unless you had a void upgrade, right? So... Definitely something to look at. Definitely not the best method uh, for this because you just can't pull in and out. If you could uh, push back in, uh, it would be superior. That would be for sure. Okay. Uh, just, you know, something to look at. Definitely, definitely, right? Um, and I mean, like, the other stuff here. Let's look at, uh, at Extended. Of course, because you do have, like, what is this? The ME packing tape here. Uh, sneak right click, an ME device with tape, and you can get a package item from it. So basically, you could pull, like, these things that have tons and tons of different items in it and just unpack it. That's actually pretty useful, right? Um, and, of course, there's just general upgrades. Uh, extended export bus. Multiplier is 8. So you could actually have more slots. What is this? Sneak right click on the device. They will be turned into the extended version of it. All device settings and inventory will be kept. So what was this one? I don't I can't tell what these are. I'm assuming that this pattern access terminal is different in some capacity. Oh, yeah, it's, the, it's like the fancier one. Okay. But, yeah, I think for right now, we're going to wrap this up. I know we really haven't done a whole lot this episode. We took a look at some of the smaller mods and some things that other mods add, uh, such as that uh, cobblestone cell, which is pretty nifty. Don't get me wrong. I do wish you could push into it, but uh, 
you know, not everything is perfect in this world. And hopefully in the future, they'll figure out a way to do that. Ooh, I just went invisible for a second there. But yeah, thank you. Stay awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.